Did you know that early mathematical skills predict later academic achievement, more than reading abilities or social emotional development? Research shows that entering kindergarten with strong early math skills is the best predictor of eighth grade academic achievement, regardless of race, gender, or socioeconomic status. We summarize the strategies and tools for success in a helpful guide entitled Mathematics Matters for Families. The guide for families contains information, resources, activities, and helpful questions for families. A common misconception is that mathematics is learned only in schools. In reality, math is learned everywhere, all the time, starting from the earliest age. Without even realizing it, a child who is comparing sizes of toys, building with blocks, reading books about astronauts, or cooking alongside family is doing math. In the past, much of mathematics was taught in a lecture, drill, and practice style. Students were required to memorize their facts, and some adults recall receiving punishments for being slow. Research has shown that these methods cause many adults to fear and dread mathematics. Our priorities in today's classrooms have shifted from emphasizing the memorization of facts and procedures to increasing the understanding of math skills and concepts. We want students to be able to do mathematics, but we also want them to understand the math they are doing, the why behind the memorized steps, and go beyond where most adults stopped, Algebra 2. As educator Sheila Scarborough points out, mathematics has not changed, but what has changed and caused parents a lot of stress are the new brain-friendly strategies and visual or hands-on tools being used in classrooms today. Ultimately, messages we give our children regarding the latest instructional methods can change their academic performance dramatically and perceptions about their ability to achieve. Many parents and guardians feel inadequate or not prepared to assist when they hear their children saying, I need help, I don't get it, this is gonna take forever, or they do not know multiple strategies to offer guidance beyond the standard steps they learned in the past. Brain research shows that the messages students pick up from their parents about math and their parents' relationship with math can also change students' math learning and achievement. Pause and take a deep breath before answering. Children need to know that the adults in their lives truly believe in them and to be reassured that research shows that mathematics is a subject that anyone can learn with hard work and perseverance. Again, the goal is both automaticity and understanding. Automaticity is students' ability to effortlessly recall a fact. Since 2010, our instruction has been designed to build your children's mathematical understanding to the point where they can automatically explain it to anyone, orally, in writing, through a drawing, and with hands-on tools. The students are flexible thinkers who can confidently solve complex problems in multiple ways. Students must experience and interact with a concept to develop a true understanding. The opportunity to touch, write, and draw should be available with each and every mathematics topic possible, and just not in the primary grades. The majority of our students in the United States of America are getting far too little experience touching math and drawing key concepts. Without utilizing these brain-friendly and developmentally appropriate methods, students may suffer a lack of long-term understanding that helps build the foundation for later math concepts. All students move through a developmental sequence and many need the physical and visual representations for a longer period than is often provided in the time frame of a school day. Be creative and use common objects around your home to explore math, such as dry pasta, bolts, grapes, ice cubes, pom-poms, buttons, or cereal. 
Students are expected to explain their thinking about each mathematics topic, which is a demonstration of the highest level of knowledge. If you cannot explain something orally and in writing, you do not understand the concept fully. Therefore, patiently listen with the intention of learning from your children and giving them the opportunity to practice this important communication skill. Parents, guardians, and caregivers are not expected to know all of the answers. Ask supportive questions like, describe a new strategy that you learned. Can you teach it to me? You can find additional questions in the first and second page of the guide. A kindergartner or first grader may show you multiple ways to represent the number five using snap cubes, drawings of the objects such as the one seen here from Ms. Barton's class, or writing the numbers for addition or subtraction. Again, the snap cubes and counters may be provided by their classroom teacher or could be replaced with other objects you have at home like Legos or pasta. Miss Butler's third grade students touch Cheez-Its to represent multiplication. Four rows of three crackers and three rows of three crackers to learn the distributive property. Another time, students used orange crayon and grid paper to draw the formation and write the equations of perimeter and area. Mrs. Jackson had her students use sidewalk chalk to write and draw the multiplication out on the playground. Notice three rows of four squares looks different between the crackers and chalk drawing, but gives you the same product or answer of 12. That's the power of visual tools. Mrs. Hawks, now a retired CCSD fifth grade teacher, once creatively used gummy worms to model mixed and improper fractions with her students. Notice touch, drawing, and writing were used at the same time by the teacher and students as they experienced the mathematical concept. Good mathematics is not about how many answers you know. It's about how you behave when you don't know. Parents, guardians, and caregivers are advised not to provide or tell the answers to students. Children need to be guided to independently problem solve through questioning and be encouraged to stick with it longer. When the child says, I need help, respond with, what strategies have you tried? When the child says, I don't know how to do this, respond with, have you tried drawing a picture or using real objects? What do you already know? How can that help you? What should you do if your child needs assistance with mathematics? Well, first, contact your school directly for support from your classroom teacher or learning strategist. They have a variety of creative ways to practice math skills. Ask about your school's online programs and personalized resources that are available for your child. Academic assistance is also available at your neighborhood library branch and Boys and Girls Club. We hope that this first video from our series of Mathematics Matters for Families was beneficial for you.